Right, right. go on, Fultz, take go us on. away. Manchester City and Liverpool fans, how are your nerves? Just over 24 hours to go until the Premier League title race is decided and to look ahead to that final day. I'd like to say we're joined by Manchester City fan and broadcaster Emily Brobin and Harinder Singh from the Anfield Index. Hey guys, hope you're both well. Yeah, good morning guys. Uh, good morning. Well, Emily, let's start with you. It's morning. in the bag, isn't it, this title? You're not going to mess it up against Villa, surely. No, no. I, I was asked to uh, give a quote to City recently about 93-20, the anniversary 10 years ago. And I did say it was the adrenaline rush of our lives and I would pay to do it all again. And now I am doubting every word of that because we're staring down the barrel of tomorrow, the final day and the title race being decided again on, on the final day. And, you know, anything can and does happen in football, especially when it comes to Manchester City. We know that we kind of, I look at it as like having a Manchester City sat nav where you could either take the easy route, which is like straight down the motorway, or you could take the scenic route with all the twists and the turns. But you know what? As long as we reach the final destination, then it's happy days. Harinda, you're not bothered, are you? You've got enough trophies already, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, my season doesn't finish tomorrow. It carries on for another week, right? And it goes for the big one. So I'm very relaxed. Um, ultimately, Destiny will do what it needs to do. Liverpool have been here before. Manchester City have been here before in regards to things being on the final day of the season. Anything can happen in football. All Jürgen Klopp and these merry men at Liverpool need to do is focus on their game. And that's all that we can do. We focus on winning. We can't control results elsewhere. I mean, let's see what Stevie G has in offer for um, Man City and for us. And we'll take it from there, really. But again, as I said, I'm completely relaxed. Tomorrow is going to be a great day out. I'll be there with the Leicester, the Anfield Index guys, people that I didn't get to celebrate the league with when we won it last time because of the pandemic, people that were there in 1819 that I went to the Champions League final with afterwards. So I'm completely relaxed and completely happy that I'm going to be seeing the people that I love the most, which are the fans. Harinda, you, you mentioned Stevie G there, of course, never won uh, the Premier League as a player, but uh, you know, obviously played his part playing for Liverpool in some great run-ins. But um, do you think that he might just have something special in store for his, for his old club and do a job? Um, every Liverpool fan has that hope, right? It, it won't just be me. I think um, with Stevie G, with Gerrard as a legend of the football club, it, that's never going to change. And again, I don't see City lying down tomorrow. I don't see Aston Villa lying down tomorrow either. Both have something to play for. Stevie has his reasons, Pep has his reasons. Emily, you can't help but think about, I, I, you've mentioned already, but that big Aguero moment. I mean, could your nerves take another day like that, of twists and turns, where you clinging on until the last few seconds to secure it? Or do you want them to get it done and dusted nice and early so you can relax and enjoy the party? I mean, the thing about Pep Guardiola's style of football, it's all about patience, isn't it? But I think if we get to half-time and it's still nil-nil and Liverpool are winning at Anfield, you will feel those nerves around the Etihad Stadium tomorrow. There's no doubt at all. But with regards to the Steven Gerrard element and Coutinho, the City players won't care who is in that opposition dugout. They will be focused on the on the goal. The 90 minutes away from winning the fourth Premier League title in five years, and that's all that matters to them. They'll be incredibly focused. You know, it's the only trophy left for us to play for this season, and they know that they're three points away from clinching that. So. I would expect nothing other than a win tomorrow. I think they'll be really fired up for it. Right, I want predictions predictions from both of you then. And obviously, as a neutral, we want the kind of twists and turns. We want the Aguero moment. Horrendous. I'll start with you. Do, how, I do you don't. how do you see it going? <laughs> <laughs> how do I see it going? Liverpool win. OK. The quad is City on. win That's all it. day long. It doesn't <laughs> matter what Liverpool do at Anfield. As long as we win, then the title's in the bag. <laughs> 